Hello, this is Blissful Fapper. Now today, you can see that dresser there in the background. I actually just used this restore finish on it. It actually matches this other dresser here that I have the drawers out of. Uh, the drawers uh, for this one is actually a five tall uh, chest of drawers. The other ones were just two regular dressers, uh, four drawer dressers. Uh, they were a matching set of three. I went to an antique used furniture store and his store was so full of merchandise that these here were underneath a covered like porch area that was exposed to sunlight and maybe to moisture and stuff like get out in the weather and the finish got all faded and really really poor shape so he sold me the set of three fairly cheap the dresser over there if you look you can see the piece of tape right there I just had to use this wood glue right up there the Gorilla wood glue on this tape on that dresser and the veneer there had like a little bit of a splintered area and it was loose so I just glued that just glued it with the wood glue and then I taped it down waiting for the glue to dry. I had to do the same thing to the large dresser which I have in my bedroom right now and if you look at this finish here it's in fairly rough rough shape. It, the, that dresser over there was in worse shape those two little smaller ones were in worse shape than the large dresser. What we're going to do today is we're going to use Howard's Restore Finish for dark walnut because this actually was a walnut finish at one time doesn't say you have to shake it up anywhere in the directions at least I didn't see anywhere in the directions saying about having to shake it up but I'm gonna shake it up anyway and since it said about using steel wool like if you have like heat and like uh, heat rings and uh but if you feel this finish it's like really really gritty and it's in really really rough shape so I'm going to use some steel wool on it, but first of all, I want to remove this, these, the hardware off of it. Luckily, these ones here, you can just grab a hold of it, and there's one screw. And there the hardware comes right off. Now you can see how badly faded it is by looking where the hardware came off of. Now you're not supposed to drop, dump this directly onto the product. And if you look here, there's like a ring right here for some reason. I'm not sure why there's like a ring right there. I can't really answer that question. But it doesn't take much of this stuff either. You don't want to dump it directly onto the finish. You want to apply it to your rag or to the steel wool. And be careful not to knock it over. You don't want to spill, spill it, of course. But if you look here... If you look, it's like a, you want to go with the grain of the wood if you're going to use steel wool. The steel wool is going to actually clean up that gritty fit, uh, filling to it since the uh, finish is so weathered from being outside under a covered porch. But if you look here, you can already see the difference in the finish. And... It's soaking up this Howard so much that I'm going to have to apply it a few times to the steel wool and work it in. Because it's just sucking that oil right up. Now it's still going to be darker there, but it's going to look a lot better than it did with how badly sun faded it is. This also works great for covering up scratches. If you look here, there's like a scratch right here. And once I get done with the drawer, there was a scratch right there, there was. But once you do this, it says you have to wait 30 minutes before applying another coat. And you also wanna wipe off the excess. And like I said before, you want to go, if you're going to use steel wool, you can apply it with a rag as well if your finish isn't quite as bad as this finish is. And you want to go with the wood grain. If you go against the wood grain, then you have a good chance of putting scratches into it with steel wool. Uh, 
I, I laid my thing into a plastic bag. I was using pieces of old uh, of old paper towel earlier to wipe it up with after I was done applying it to wipe off any excess and if you look there you can see the excess coming off And right here, you can see the difference between these two. This one here feels all gritty. This actually feels smooth to the touch now. What's nice is this stuff will actually wash off with soap and water off your hands. It makes a nice finish. It makes it into a nicer finish than what you originally started with. Now, of course, it's not going to go as dark as the original wood was at one time. As you can see, it was a really, really dark mahogany or dark walnut at one time. Now, of course, with this being an antique set, this is a mid-century modern set. It, for I found information on the internet that said that this came set came out like in the 40s till 1959, and then I found another seller trying to sell a dresser and a nightstand, and they said 1960s. So I'm not exactly sure when this design came out, but it does have like bronze hardware with it, which of course is a little bit marked up and pitted, and st not really pitted, but discolored like so it gives it more like of an antique bronze look to it I'm not sure if the hardware started out being antique bronze or with over the time with this being so old because we are in 2020 and if the set was from 19 in the 1940s or if it was from 1960s that was a long time ago now we are going to do the other one too but I want to put the hardware back on this one I'm only going to do one coat on these ones I believe. Uh, maybe. Yeah, one coat actually will do it. But when I, when I wipe it, I'm not getting any more excess off my hands. It's not sticking to me. These are to be a high-end dresser set, if you look. They have dividers in them. These are like the top two drawers of the larger dresser. And if you look, they have these little trays that can actually set inside the dressers in that drawer right there. Those little trays are made out of wood. It's just a shame that an antique dealer would leave antique dressers laying outside when it's a set of three of them and not take good care of them because they didn't ran out of room inside. They would have been better off to have sold them at a... I only paid $75 for the set of three. They, they would have been better off to have sold them cheaper ahead of time instead of letting them get in this type of condition. But I got a deal because they left them get into fairly rough shape. Now let's do this drawer right here as well. And of course I'm only doing one drawer at a time and then I put the hardware right back into it because I don't want to lose anything. You can see the scratch in this one right here. We're going to apply some more of this to our steel wool. And we're going to start rubbing it into the finish. If you look there, you're going to watch that scratch start to be not as noticeable. But again, the 
this Howard's Restore finish is soaking into the wood so much with how badly sun faded it is and the finish being in such bad shape that I have to dip it a few times with my spill wool because it's soaking it right up. And they say depending on how hard you wipe on it, how much the original finish you're going to wear off with, with spill wool, but I'm wiping fairly hard on this one because the surface is so rough and gritty from being out in the sun and being sun faded. You can still see the scratch there, but it's not nearly as noticeable because this restore finish helps to hide the scratch by making it the same exact color as the rest of the, of the wood. And again, let me repeat myself. You have to go with the grain of the wood. You don't want to go side to side. Otherwise, you're going to scratch it up and put all types of marks into your finish when you use steel wool. You want to be careful where you lay this down at. Like I'm in a carpeted room right now and I don't want to lay it down on my carpet. And of course if I lay it down on my carpet, it's going to play havoc on my carpet. Now we take a rag. And we start to wipe off the excess. Let me put the lid back on this so I don't accidentally knock over this restore finish. And there you go. This dresser has been, has been treated with restore finish. And I can wipe my hand across it. It feels a lot smoother than it did before. There are still some areas that feel a little bit more rough on it, but you got to remember, this finish was in such rough shape when I started that something had to be done with it. It just didn't look good. And if you look, there's four of those little trays there, there's two top drawers, and that dresser behind it also has the takes the trays. And I think there's a tray up to one. I'm not sure how many of them actually belong to each dresser. I'm not sure if I have all the trays. Oh. I don't want to forget to put on the brass ring. And there we go. We have two dresser drawers. 
that we just used the restore finish on. Now, if there's, I'm not sure how much of the original veneers actually left on them, so it's more, it could be like an oil rubbed walnut now finish, depending on how much of the original veneer was that, or the, the original polyurethane or whatever they had on it is left. And I did the same thing to that dresser. There's two dressers right back there, and like I said earlier, I used that wood glue to glue that there on. I do have the five drawer test like in my bedroom and I had to glue uh, some of the veneer on the very bottom edge of it and I have it taped up waiting for it to dry as well. Well I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I wanted to show you how Howard's Restore a Finish actually looks after you treat an item that is in really really rough sun faded shape. Remember to click like and subscribe.